We are entering a new decade. Growing inequalities, climate change, natural disasters, pandemics. We are faced with global, complex challenges. In response, United Nations Member States have adopted the Sustainable Development Goals. Information and communication technologies offer answers for helping achieve the SDGs. As the UN Specialised Agency for ICTs, ITU is in the driver's seat. From artificial intelligence and blockchain to the Internet of Things and 5G, these technologies can help us meet many of the world's most urgent challenges. Whether they're used to speed up existing processes, put people in touch, transcribe voices into text, the possibilities offered by ICTs are limitless. But in a world where only over half of us are using the internet, the people who would benefit from digital technologies the most are often those who lack access to the skills to use them. Today, we're seeing breakthroughs in crop surveillance, famine and drought prediction, that can help protect and feed poorer and more vulnerable people. Health and well-being apps can help treat sick people and detect and track epidemics and disease. New and promising technologies in education can help make learning more engaging, interactive and innovative, opening up new opportunities for all people, regardless of their age or gender. Satellite monitoring and surveillance help us better understand our planet's changing climate and protect all life forms from the very big to the very small. ICTs help promote smarter and cleaner water management, a cleaner power supply, cleaner economic growth and jobs, and smarter infrastructure in cities. The growing use of open data by governments increases transparency, empowers citizens and helps drive economic growth. And more and more of us are in touch via remote methods including during times of crisis, to get informed and organise our response. But ICTs impact each SDG differently. We cannot let ICTs increase existing inequalities or adversely shape attitudes towards women and gender equality, or not deal with the growing issue of e-waste. With the Connect 2030 Agenda, ITU stands ready to help all its members in the public, private and academic sectors make the most of digital technologies. ITU members have been behind some of the most significant advances in digital communication technologies in history. ITU members worked hard to bring you the first 3G, 4G and now 5G. Today's satellite networks and tomorrow's next generation satellites are based on ITU standards, allocating radio frequency spectrum and minimising interference. ITU and its member states will not rest until the digital divide no longer exists, until we can bring the benefits of technology to everyone, everywhere. And that is the essence of World Telecommunication and Information Society Day. To remember, today, and the rest of the year, the important opportunities and solutions offered by ICTs. For only in this way can countries achieve the significant change needed to confront the challenges we face today and achieve the SDGs.